My name is Mark. Welcome to my 2015 Max S Tab trailer. Um, sometimes the upgrades that I do are big upgrades, sometimes they're little upgrades. This is a little upgrade, but definitely uh, get rid of a nuisance that a lot of us are having. Um, you recognize this. This is the Aldi heater. The nuisance specifically is this guy. The Aldi um, runs on, it can run on electric heat and it has a power cord and you can see that they take that power cord and they wrap it all up here. They don't, you know, it's just a long, long power cord and it comes over and it plugs into this outlet. Look at that outlet. Look close. This plug is coming loose and it's not tight in there. If you feel that, it's not tight. And as it bumps down the road, this falls out. Um, and people are always, you know, when you get a call saying, oh, my Aldi heater doesn't work on electric, <laughs> this is likely to be your problem. So I'm going to solve that issue once and for all. If you look at this outlet, it's got a piece of Romex cable that comes down here. And it comes over here. And it goes directly into the back of my converter box that has all the circuit breakers on it. Let's see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cable and I'm going to cut it to length. I'm going to get rid of this outlet completely, get rid of all that, that yellow wiring down there. I'm going to run a wire directly right across and hardwire it directly into my, um, my terminal block. Um, this, <laughs> there's no reason for it to really have a plug like that. And I hate having to, having to, you know, one more thing to check. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to just route that wire directly down here, cut it to exact length so it's not all spooled up in there like that. Relieve a lot of that mess, solve that problem, clear up a lot of this space, and it'll be just hardwired directly into my... Um, there are some screw block terminals in here. You just basically strip the wires out, put them in the correct positions, and they'll be hardwired. So I'm going to go at that right now, and we'll see you in a bit. Thing you do disconnect from shore power. You don't want to be electrocuted. <laughs> thing you want to do, unplug your Aldi heater and unravel all that mess and figure out your routing and stuff here. So you get that cable. We'll no longer have a plug on the end of it. I'll just strip out the three wires that are in there. they would be a hot, a neutral, and a ground. And we'll hook them directly into the back of the box. Okay, so there we are. If you look, I mean, literally, that cable... They've got 10 feet of cable to go about a foot and a half. So I've unwrapped that. If you look down here now, look at how, how much less a mess I have underneath there. That's going to be great. So next step, I'm going to take this outlet off, remove all that wire, that yellow wire that runs down through here, disconnect it off the terminal block. Okay. Two of these screws come out, and this guy comes off. And I'm ready to pull that yellow cable out. This is the converter where all the circuit breakers are handled. Flip it down, lift it up. Cover comes off like that. There are four screws, one, two, three, four. Lift this unit out and we'll get to the circuit breakers. The middle circuit breaker in my particular trailer may not be in yours, but this particular circuit breaker is the one that runs my Aldi. So that's where the uh, wires will connect. So there are the four screws removed from here, 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 and here. And that cover just lifts off just like that. And there you see the circuit breakers. And there are the connection points. Black wires are the hot line. White wires are the neutral line. And the copper bare wires are ground. So I'm going to take this cable, route it through where it needs to go, cut it to length, strip off the wires, and hook them to the correct terminals piece of cake. Okay, so here we are at the front of the converter box. The center um, circuit breaker is the one that runs my Aldi. Those of you that have uh, done any electrical work before, you're aware of this, but a circuit breaker pops out just this simply. You put your finger at the top and pull down. It comes out just like that. So there is the black wire right there that I need to take off. 
there's the white wire that I need to take off, and there's the ground wire I need to take off. So there we go. So there we have the hot wire, the neutral wire, and the ground wire disconnected from their three positions. Now I'm just gonna reach in the back and pull out, pull those guys out. A little, little tight, so we'll work on it a little bit, but just that easy. Pull the old wire okay. out. All the, uh, all the hot wire is out. Now we're just going to, this is the plug. Got a good pair of cutters here. Do this one-handed if I can. We just clip off the old connector. So now I can feed this wire down through the hole with the rest of the with the rest of the cables. So I'll feed that through and then we'll reconnect. So here we have it. I've pulled the Aldi heater cable through the back of the strain relief where the other cable came from. I'm gonna strip this black insulation back, and inside you see I've got a a black wire, a white wire, and a green wire. Black wire goes where the black wire went. White wire goes where the white wire went. Green wire, which is ground, goes over to the ground terminal, where the other one was. Back in a bit. Have it stripped off the outer insulation. There's my wires I need to connect. Be careful when you do this, when you clip the outside of that insulation off, make sure you don't nick any of these wires. You wanna just sort of work it, work it, work it, work it until you're through the insulation here, but you don't nick any of the insulation on this wire. Oh, okay, so there on. are the three wires. I've got them stripped back. My next step is not necessarily necessary, but it's good practice. I'm going to go ahead and solder, basically do a process called tinning this, where I take a soldering iron and a little bit of solder and apply some solder to here. What that does is it keeps the little strands of wire together and makes it act more like a piece of solid wire, and that way you'll get better connection to your... Um, to those screw terminals. It's not necessary, but it's a nice feature. It's it's best practice. So I'll do that next and we'll get back to you. Applied a little bit of 6040 lead solder, soldering gun. You look at those ends, see how they're all nice and tinned up, and that'll keep the edges the edges from fraying when I screw them down under the bolts. Good practice. See you in a bit. Hey, here we have the white wire tied to the neutral bus, ground wire tied to the ground bus, black wire tied to the top of the circuit breaker, screwed down to the bottom of the circuit breaker. We'll pop the new circuit or the original circuit breaker back in, just like that. And we are now fully wired and ready to test. Excellent. We'll be back in a bit after the test. Okay, we're done. There's the covers are all back on. Everything's in place. This heater comes up just perfect right now. So as a prologue here, or an epilogue, it's the epilogue at the end. <laughs> For an epilogue, let me show you what, what this has accomplished. Look at that area of the Aldi. You remember the 10 feet of cable, this stuff that was all wrapped up in there? Well, now the cord just comes out and goes right in. All that mess, all of it is gone. This, you remember this outlet that was mounted right here? That's gone. No more plug coming out of vibration. And the really cool thing here is, this is where that plug was. Let me show that again. This is where that plug was. Look at what's here. This is, this is the connector to the outside trailer. This is my street power where it comes in the side of the, side of the trailer. And it goes around and it goes orange cable right here into the back. That's what powers my trailer. But look at this space that I freed up here. Next week, I have arriving a hardwired um, uh, electric management system. It's basically a surge protector, a controller, really nice box, but it's gonna go right here because I'll be able to wire it directly in out. Really nice place for it here. Be up out of the way. The place to go with it. So that's my next project. Um, we've cleaned up a lot of mess here. We've stopped a problem of the plug falling out. We've got a more directly connected Aldi. And I've got space for my uh, um, search protector. Next week, 
Till then, have a good time. Be safe. Oh, I got to warn you. Don't be doing this kind of stuff if you're not familiar with what you're doing. <laughs> um, I know it looks very easy, um, and it is very easy. But uh, if you're not experienced with it and you don't know, you, you really have never been into electrics, I wouldn't recommend um, you do this. You can get a, uh, a friend of yours who's, who's skilled with it or actually take it down to uh, uh, a pro if you want him to do it. But that hard wiring business is going to help me out a lot. I don't have to worry about that ever connecting, ever disconnecting again. Anyway, have a good day. We'll see you later.